many of you may be wondering how I got some of the rarest items in build a boat history. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I got the laser launcher, the yellow chest that drops free gold, the winter jet turbine, the spooky thruster, the boxing glove, the egg, the cake, the candy, and of course the steampunk jetpack. All of these, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I got them in this video. But just a disclaimer right now that a lot of these ways to get most of these items is completely like not obtainable anymore, but I am still going to be showing you guys how I got them, but some of these are still available that you guys can still get. So stay tuned throughout the entire video because you guys do not want to miss out. Also make sure to go ahead and like the video and subscribe and let's go ahead and hop straight into the video. Comment of the day is on screen right now. Thank you so, so much for the support. It is very, very much appreciated. All right, before we get into all the other items, I think I'm going to start off right here with the laser launcher, which is actually, in fact, the most recent item we got in build a boat for treasure. This item right here is a brand new PvP item that is uh, exclusive to pretty much only the Roblox toy that uh, just got released like a few months ago. This laser launcher was obtained from this Build-A-Boat nerf gun right here that you could probably find in your local Walmart or Target or even on Amazon. I in fact apply have a link to it down below inside the description that you guys can go ahead and check out. But basically if you actually get that nerf gun and you redeem the exclusive avatar item, you get this laser launcher right here. Now, the laser launcher, I will say, it's not the best PvP item in, in my opinion, although it is a very rare item to have, and not a lot of people have it. I mean, it's still a pretty cool looking item. You can customize it. The color you customize, the same color of the lasers will actually shoot out. So it is a pretty cool item, I'm not gonna lie, but it, I don't think it's the best PvP item inside of the game. The range on it's super good, but that right there is how to actually get it. You have to buy that build a boat nerf gun right there and then redeem it, the avatar exclusive code. But that moves me on to the next item right here. We have the yellow chest. Now, what makes the yellow chest one of the rarest items inside of the game? Well, there's two reasons. Number one, it's the only item in build a boat that you can actually break, drop a piece of gold, and get free gold added to your build a boat account. It's literally that cool. I've been getting countless comments asking, how do I actually get the yellow chest right here? Well, this item right here is completely unobtainable, unless they add it back to the shop. But how I got it was extremely lucky. Like, I am very, very lucky. These chests were only available inside of the shop for like one day, I believe. I believe this item was actually inside the shop for like, like, not even a day. I mean, I think it was like a day, maybe two days, and not a lot of people bought it because it was just a treasure chest. Nobody really knew exactly what it was at the time. In fact, I didn't even buy it from the shop. I actually redeemed it from a free code inside of the game. Now, when this code was available, it was only available for a very, very short period of time. But luckily, I claimed this for two free chests inside of the game. But if you guys do want to actually see me uh, break 100,000 of these chests, make sure you guys check out my previous video. I did earlier last week because this is by far one of the craziest videos I've ever done. Moving on right here we have the winter jet turbine. Now the winter jet turbine was available for a limited time. This one I don't think is ever going to be coming back to the game unless they release it inside of a Christmas update this year. I think this item is definitely going to be lost forever. We're not really lost but like unobtainable forever. We have the normal red jet right here which is you know the basic jet that you can buy inside of the shop and then we have the purple jet, but the blue jet has a custom Christmas trail. I was lucky enough to obtain this inside of a previous Christmas update inside of the game that was years ago. I believe it was from a boss fight. I can't exactly remember, but I am very lucky enough to have three of these. The only Christmas item that I'm currently missing is the winter thruster. That's like the only one that I don't have. Like, I mean, it, it is a really cool item, but I do wish I also had the winter thruster inside of the game. Yeah, so after doing some research, Search the blue jet or Christmas jet right there is actually obtained from the blue present. But make sure you guys stay tuned because we are still going to reveal some crazy items coming up. And some of these you're still able to actually claim, so stay tuned. But moving on, we have another, like, themed thruster inside of the game or, like, you know, themed uh, holiday item, I should say. This is right here is the spooky thruster. Now, the spooky thruster is just kind of like the Christmas jet turbine. I don't think this item's ever going to be returning to the game. Now, it very very well could. It is possible that Chill Thrill could release this inside of the Halloween update that could be coming up in October, but it was only released for two Halloween updates, and then since then, it has not been returned. You can actually claim this thruster from some Halloween codes inside of the game, and also by completing a boss fight in previous Halloween.
Halloween updates. Also, I want you guys to comment down below. Do you guys think there's going to be a Halloween update in Build About this year? Last year was like the only year we didn't have it. And I, I don't know if we're going to have one this year or not. I honestly don't know. But I'm hoping we I'm hoping we do. I'm hoping. Let me know down below what you guys think. Moving on, we actually have the boxing glove. Now, the boxing glove is actually one of my most favorite items inside of the game. All right. You can do a lot of cool things with this block right here. You can fling yourself across the map. You can smack your friends in the face with the boxing glove. Like, I mean, it's just like the best item ever. Like, it's so cool. You can even use it to grind gold inside of the game. Like, look at how overpowered this gold glitch right here is. This is literally the perfect speed that will give you the maximum amount of gold every single time. And you can do this on mobile and PC. I mean, it's just so good and reliable. And just like that, I'm at the end treasure. This is like one of the best grinders inside of the game. Actually, wait, hold on. I'll take some free gold. Don't mind if I do. 201 gold from that? Okay, that actually was not bad whatsoever. Now, the boxing glove was originally added to the game within another Halloween update inside of build a -Boats, where they actually made it obtainable by actually completing the spider boss quest that you've seen right here. Now, also, the spider boss quest was the most recent, like, you know, build a -Boat Halloween boss fight that we've had inside of the game, but also inside of this boss fight, you were also able to claim the candy item that I'm gonna go over later in this video, so stay tuned for that, because that item as well also has a good chance of returning, but you actually got it from completing this boss fight. You can see right here, I got myself some free candies right there. Don't mind if I do. The boxing glove has also been added to the shop in the past, I believe. I don't know if they're ever gonna add it back, but I think they definitely should. I mean, it's a really cool item. You can literally make your own, like, trampoline blocks with it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Do you guys think they should make this item return inside of the game? Let me know inside of the comment section. But now this leads me to the dragon egg right here. Now, the dragon egg was actually a part of the build a boat Easter event that happened, I believe it was like four years ago, three years ago. There was a temporary update inside of the game that uh, you could actually get the egg of hidden treasures, which uh, is actually a limited item on Roblox now that if you actually played inside of the egg update, then you're actually able to sell that item for free Robux if you really wanted to. But everyone was actually rewarded this egg right here. Now, does this egg have anything special that it can do? No, it doesn't whatsoever. In fact, it literally does nothing besides sit inside of my inventory and do literally nothing. It has a strength of seven, though, so it is kind of strong. I'm not going to lie. And, um, yeah, that's literally it for the egg. I mean, there's, there's really nothing more. Moving on to the cake item. I don't really want to dive too deep into this item, but it's used for a bunch of glitches and mechanics inside of build a -Boat. It's an item that I use pretty much every single day to connect blocks, to use fly glitches, all that stuff. This is actually awarded to every single player on the Roblox account anniversary or near the Roblox account anniversary. So if my anniversary was, uh, let's say, September 7th, which is the day I'm recording, then I'm going to fast forward one more year. And when I join build a -Boat again, then I should have 10 of these absolutely for free inside of my account. I just recently got my 10 from my Roblox account anniversary. I just got those about two months ago. So it is still working to this day. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to be covering the candy items because the candy items are known to come back to the game pretty much almost every single update that we have. That's like a holiday event. They usually come out in Easter and Halloween, which Halloween is definitely coming up very, very fast. It's already almost the middle of September, which means that you never know. They could be working on the Halloween updates. Now, as I mentioned, the Halloween updates inside of build boats are really, really awesome. They're like one of the best like updates they put out. Like the map, it looks really, really cool every time. The stages look amazing and the items are so good as well. And the candy is usually available for free that you can unlock throughout the map or during the boss fights or even they do add it to the shop that you can buy for gold. So it's a good time to actually stock up on these. Now, I don't want to say these aren't going to be obtained anymore because like if there's a Halloween update or Easter update, which there probably will be in the future at some point, they're probably going to return. So these definitely do return to the game. You just have to play during those holiday event updates. And that leads me into the last item on the list, the Steampunk Jetpack. This thing right here is insane. Now, just recently, this item became 10 times more rare. And I'm going to tell you exactly why in a minute, but this is actually how you get it. Just like the laser launcher, you had to actually buy the Chill Thrill 709 Roblox toy, which if you actually redeemed the avatar item for that, then you get a free plushie, you get four portals, and not only that, but of course, the Steampunk Jetpack. Now, this is honestly one of the rarest items inside of the game, in my opinion, and the reason why it's like very, very rare now is because I believe they stopped production on them. I could be wrong. They're prop. They might still be making some, but there's been like rumors going around 
that they're stopping production on some Roblox toys and stuff. So the Steampunk Jetpack definitely could be affected by that. I mean, just look at the price. It's $45 for one single toy. Now, keep in mind, guys, just about uh, half a year ago, this thing was $12. It's like quadrupled in price, which means the Steampunk Jetpack is even more valuable, especially if they stop production on these, then that's going to make it. So this Jetpack is completely unobtainable, but you can still obtain it by redeeming it. But there's only a certain amount out there. I don't know how many there are, but I mean... It looks like there's a limited amount. So if you actually have this item, you have one of the rarest blocks inside of the game. But comment down below what one of your most rarest blocks inside of your inventory is. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe. And I'll see you guys all inside of the next one. Peace out and goodbye.